In today's video, we're going to review the iconic John Lobb Lopez casual penny loafer. I'm Kirby Allison, and I love helping the well-dressed acquire and care for their wardrobes. Join me as we explore the world of quality, craftsmanship, and tradition. Easily one of the most renowned and respected shoemakers in the world, the John Lobb name is well known to those who appreciate quality, craftsmanship, and tradition. Just as well known for their famous bespoke shoes as they are for their ready to wear, they are actually composed of two separate companies. The ancestral John Lobb, based on St. James's Street in London, which exclusively makes only bespoke shoes completely by hand and in much the same way today as they have for their 150 plus year history. And John Lobb Paris, which is owned by the Hermes Group and is famous for their exceptional Goodyear welted ready to wear dress shoes, which are made to the highest standards in Northampton, England. John Lobb Paris also has a bespoke workshop in Paris. So to summarize, John Lobb from London makes only bespoke shoes from their workshop on St. James's Street, and John Lobb from Paris makes factory made, ready to wear shoes in Northampton, England, and bespoke shoes in Paris. What I appreciate most about John Lobb though, is the authentic influence of their bespoke designs that can be found in many of their ready to wear shoes, many of which are directly taken from specific bespoke models rediscovered in their archive. The John Lobb Lopez is a great example of such a shoe and was actually the first ready to wear shoe directly launched from Lobb's Parisian archive. One of the most distinct features of this shoe is the penny strap, which was a design of a certain Mr. Lopez of Brazil in the 1940s and 50s. Mr. Lopez was quite particular about the opening of the penny strap. He wanted a round keyhole instead of the more traditional chisel slot found on the American versions. John Lobb's Parisian bespoke workshop was able to realize this for Mr. Lopez in a beautifully executed design, which served as the inspiration for the Lopez model that I have here in front of me. Now we've got several models here. These are five core models that kind of represent the collection here in the United States. And I wanna go over and speak about each one and what makes it special. First and foremost, we have the black calfskin shoe with a single outsole. Now this has been the New York Boutique's best seller since it's opened, and it's no surprise why. This is a classic country club shoe, something that you would find also in the New York boardroom or being worn by a partner or managing director. This is a beautiful classic loafer that is well balanced and well designed. And really you can't ever go wrong having a black uh, penny loafer like this in your collection. The Lopez also fits exceptionally well thanks to its high heel clip, which comes in a bit higher than normal shoes. This, when combined with the generous hard countering, helps prevent heel slip. But more than anything else, over time, it helps prevent the unnecessary creasing. It's certainly difficult to do, especially in a ready to wear factory made shoe. But you can see that this hard countering really extends all the way into the arch, which gives this shoe exceptional support. Other elements that you would expect to find from a shoe of this caliber, of course, is the high stitch density on the upper, again, helping create that nice, clean and neat aesthetic. But you see the high stitch density continued all the way here onto the welt, where the welt is sewn to the outsole. The welt is trimmed very neat, and then of course is waxed and polished straight from the factory. The outsole of this shoe is beautifully finished with a nice even dark brown patina. You don't see any of the channel stitching that is used to attach the single outsole to the welt. This is done through an invisible channel stitch where the outsole is actually cut into, peeled back, then stitched to the, um, the welt, and then sealed and glued back closed. Now the difference is, is that you're able to get this beautiful finish to the outsole without seeing any of the stitching that you would otherwise see on less expensive shoes. It just all combines to create just a beautiful aesthetic that one would expect from John Lobb. You also have some nail detail on the heel stack uh, and a nice kind of rubber top lift here, again, to give you that, uh, that additional traction to ensure that you're not slipping. It's absolutely beautiful, again, with the black calf skin. It's got a single outsole, exceptionally well-made, uh, and really, it's a beautiful shoe. 
Next, we have the New Gold Museum, which isn't a part of the core collection, which means that it can only be found here in the United States. It features a beautiful museum finish, which has the variation of texture. This shoe is made exactly the same way as the Black Lopez, with a single leather outsole and, of course, its calfskin. What I like about this, of course, is the beautiful sharp finish of the calfskin that can still be shined, yet because it's a lighter brown with a little bit of variation in the finish, that museum finish, it's certainly a much more casual shoe. This would look great with a cream pair of trousers or a pair of khakis, and is really something to be worn on the weekends or with an odd jacket. As we work our way down this line, we're becoming increasingly casual. The next shoe we have here is a beautiful example of how the Lopez can really get interesting. This is the Lopez with the Moreland grain uh, leather. Now this is a dark brown pebble grain leather that has beautiful texture, again, making this shoe exceptionally casual and perfect for the weekend. But there's some other details here that Blob used to take this even further. First and foremost is something called the tensile construction, which is essentially a skeleton lining. So instead of being fully lined, once you get to the forward part of the shoe, uh, it is unlined, making it even lighter and more breathable. Next, the outsole is 1.5 millimeters less thick than the standard single sole. This is an exceptionally comfortable shoe, especially with the diamond patterned insole. And this is certainly something that most customers probably wear in the summertime without socks. It's a beautiful shoe. And again, I love the diversity of leather here. We have something that is incredibly traditional and classic, a black calfskin. We've got the gold, new gold museum finish. And here we have a beautiful, soft and supple pebble grain. Next up, we have the Lopez on the Rasp rubber outsole. Now for those that live in New York or in walking cities, uh, having a shoe with the rubber outsole really is essential, especially for inclement weather days. This shoe is a workhorse. It still retains all of the integrity of the Lopez, everything that you would expect really from these more classic examples, making this a great shoe for the office. Here it is shown in a dark brown, but it's available in other finishes, of course, from Lob. What I like about this shoe is the rubber outsole, which is what makes it unique from these two. But there's another characteristic here that is exceptionally subtle that I think really points out Lob's commitment to going that extra mile. And this is the textured pattern on the bottom of this outsole. Now, one of the things I like about Lob is their ability to really innovate and go out and collaborate with their suppliers that come up with these detailed finishings that are totally unique to Lob. And here it's the Rasp rubber outsole. Now it's called the rasp because the texture here is really modeled after the texture you would find on a rasping file that a last maker would use in the creation of bespoke lasts. It's a subtle element that most people probably will never even notice, but again, it's that link connecting this ready to wear shoe back to John Lobb's bespoke heritage. Again, just like with all the Lopez models, this shoe too is Goodyear welted and can be easily sent back to John Lobb to replace the rubber outsole when it becomes worn, giving the shoe a new lease on life. Next, we have one of the newest Lopez's to be added to this collection, and that is the Lopez on the Hyper Lightweight Walking Sole, or LWS as they call it. Now this is an incredibly unique shoe that has a totally unique outsole to John Lobb. I have to be honest, after the first time I saw this shoe, I was a little skeptical, especially with this large, uh, heavy kind of lug outsole, and thought this would be more of a hipster shoe. But much to John Lobb's surprise, this shoe is just as popular with their older customers as it is their younger customers as an alternative to a sneaker. So for their customers that maybe have moved away from more traditional uh, loafers uh, because of the leather outsoles, but didn't want to wear sneakers, this hyper lightweight rubber lug outsole was really the perfect alternative. And so a lot of customers will wear this shoe in lieu of a sneaker. I've seen my young friends wear it, especially some in Europe, uh, but then also Lob in New York says it's equally popular with their older clients. Whenever you feel how lightweight this is, uh, it is significantly lighter weight uh, than the traditional rasp rubber outsole, and that speaks to Lob's ability to innovate. It's an interesting shoe, and the more I think of it as an alternative to a tennis shoe, the more I like the idea of this Lopez. This is a great walking shoe, uh, and it's easy to see why this has been very popular in cities like New York, where people do spend quite a bit more time walking than what you find here in Texas. 
One of the things that is most impressive about the Lopez collection, and really you find this in many of Lobb's shoes, is the breadth of range. Here we have one shoe, the Lopez, but we have something as classic and as conservative as this black calfskin, all the way through this entire range to something as unique and as innovative as this suede shoe on the hyper lightweight sole, the LWS. It's really amazing, and you've got everything in between. Yet the common thread that connects all of these shoes, again, is that commitment to quality, craftsmanship, and tradition. They're all Goodyear welted. They're all made in Northampton to the absolute highest standards. They all use the best and finest materials, and they all are exceptionally elegant, calling on Lobb's bespoke heritage. It's easy to understand why the Lopez has become one of John Lobb's best-selling and most iconic models. This is almost where it all started for the ready-to-wear collection, being directly inspired from a bespoke model of Mr. Lopez from the 1940s and 50s. I just absolutely love the authenticity of this design, not being something that someone just created in the 1990s whenever they decided to launch a ready-to-wear shoe, but was actually researched and dug out of the Parisian bespoke archive. The way that these shoes are made, being Goodyear welted at their Northampton factory, made with the highest quality uppers, with the hard countering, the single piece upper construction, this hand sewn apron, even with John Lobb going the extra mile to score this hand sewn apron just to clean it up and make it more neat, uh, really speaks to the firm's commitment uh, to their work. Everyone should have a penny loafer in their collection, and the John Lobb Lopez is wholeheartedly one that I can recommend. All of the Lopez models retail here in the United States for $1,495, which is certainly an investment. But whenever you consider the quality, craftsmanship, and tradition behind each one of these shoes, the price is absolutely substantiated. All of these shoes are available online at johnlob.com and can be found in any of their U.S. boutiques. I'm Kirby Allison, and I love to help the well-dressed acquire and care for their wardrobes while exploring the world of quality, craftsmanship, and tradition. Make sure you visit KirbyAllison.com, where we have the largest collection of luxury garment care and luxury shoe care accessories in the world, as well as other great clothing accessories like this sovereign-grade necktie that I'm wearing right now.